It's 10 totally random trivia questions from a confidence round recorded live at Last Name Brewing in Upland, California. That's home of the Pomona Queen craft beer. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show. You like trivia? You're in the right place. And I'm so glad you decided to check out today's episode. It is all about random trivia questions. I usually get these confidence round questions from Jeopardy or other game show websites or Reddit. So feel free to kind of listen and play along with these totally random Q's and A's. I think you'll have fun. I have a little bit of trivia before we start the episode. It's one of those cards. It's called Pass the Popcorn. We have read these before, and uh, I give you a couple of clues about a movie, and you tell me what movie we're talking about. So here's your warm-up trivia for today. 2004 comedy with Dustin Hoffman and Barbara Streisand. Um, It is about a newly engaged man who introduces his liberal parents to his conservative in-laws-to-be. And the tagline is, and you thought your parents were embarrassing. That movie is, of course, Meet the Fockers. So there you go, Meet the Fockers. On the other side of this card, it says a 2009 drama, Sandra Bullock, Quentin Aaron. A white family adopts a black teen and helps put him on the road to a pro football career. Who would have thought we'd have a black son before we met a Democrat? The answer there was the blind side. So there you go. Pass the popcorn. Those are just random trivia cards that I have on my desk, which I need to clean up. There's a lot of stuff up here. I'm going to describe a few things for you so you get a feeling for what my desk might look like. I've got some hot topic cash. I've got stacks of stickers from a website called Kids Love Stickers that I got for when kids are at trivia nights or breweries. Um, There's a pin that says architect on it. And it's my friend, uh, Ben from parks and rec. I've got a, an entire <laughs> little container of wrestling trivia questions from like 1997. I have a case that I'm supposed to keep this recorder, this zoom H six recorder in that I never put in there and it always falls on the ground and I should definitely have it in the case. And I have, uh, some swear word stickers. That's right. I have some nice bumper sized stickers that have different swear words on them that I give away at some of my raunchier bingo locations. So there you go, guys, painting the picture of what a, uh, a desk of a very messy person looks like. I need to clean this thing up. It is out of control. Uh, but thank you for checking out the show. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It's a recording. It's from Last Name Brewing in Upland, California. So play along with this one. Write down your answers. Rank them 1 through 10. Ten's the highest. 1's the lowest. You can score up to 55 points using each one of those ranks once while you play along. And tell me your score. Say, hey, buds, I got 45 out of 55 points. Or, hey, I got all 55 because I'm super smart. Or I cheated. I don't care what you do. As long as you have fun listening. Okay. Thank you guys for checking out the show and telling a friend that means the world to me. And if you want to support the show monetarily, go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds and see all the cool rewards. I'm about to mail all the folks on there for October. Enjoy these 10 totally random questions from a confidence round right now. Here we go. This is the last round of the night. 10 totally random questions. You're writing down all your answers, ranking them one through 10. 10 the highest. One's the lowest. Use each number once. Number one, what two-person game features players moving 15 pieces between 24 triangles according to the roll of two dice? Number one, what two-person game features players moving 15 pieces between 24 triangles according to the roll of two dice? That's number one on your list, number one. Question number two, the 30 street, or saint maybe, the 30 ST Mary Axe is a skyscraper in London that formerly went by what name? Number two, the 30 Street Mary Axe, I think, is a skyscraper in London that formerly went by what name? Skyscraper in London, what name? Number two, number two. Question number three, what animated sitcom takes place in the fictional town of Arlen, Texas? Number three, what animated sitcom takes place in the fictional town of Arlen, Texas? Number three on your list, number three. Number four, C uh, to the 55th, H to the 72, O to the 5, N to the 4, M, G 
I know you can't see that, so it's hard. But it's C55H7205N4MG is the formula for what term that an Adam Sandler character would find boring. Number four, C to the 55th, H to the 72, O to the 5th, N to the 4th, and M, lowercase g, is the formula for what term that an Adam Sandler character would find boring. Number four. Number five, in what Pennsylvania village did George Washington's Continental Army camp for six months in 1777 to 1778, a major turning point in the Revolutionary War? Number five, what Pennsylvania village was that? Number five. I've seen, I've seen weird shit. Number six, PRV is a Bible abbreviation for what longer word? Number six, PRV is a Bible abbreviation for what longer word? Number six. Number seven, Arnold Schwarzenegger titled his 2012 memoir after one of his movie titles. What was it? Number seven, Arnold Schwarzenegger titled his 2012 memoir after one of his movie titles. What was it? Question number eight, according to Japanese legend, a sick person will recover if they fold 1,000 of what type of origami? Number eight, according to Japanese legend, a sick person will recover if they fold 1,000 of what type of origami? Number eight. Number nine, two questions left in a traditional deck of cards. Which king is the only one without a mustache? Number nine, in a traditional deck of cards. Which king is the only one without a mustache? Number nine. And the last question of the night, number 10. What 2001 video game movie featured the tagline, born into wealth, groomed by the elite, and trained for combat? Number 10, and your last question. No bonus question, Write down all your answers, ranking them one through 10, 10's the highest, one's the lowest. Number 10, what 2001 video game movie featured the tagline, born into wealth, groomed by the elite, trained for combat? That's the end of trivia this week. We'll be back in just a bit with the answers and winners. Answers to the confidence round. Let's see how it all turned out on this last kind of tough round. Number one, what two-person game features players moving 15 pieces between 24 triangles? That's backgammon. Number one, backgammon. My neck, my backgammon. Number two, the 30s Street Mary Axe is a skyscraper in London that formerly went by the Gherkin, the Gherkin, which sounds like uh, some kind of sex thing. Number three, what animated sitcom takes place in the fictional town of Arlen, Texas, King of the Hill? King of the Hill. Number four, we had that long chemical formula, and that is something Adam Sandler, uh, a character of his, would find boring in Billy Madison. It was chlorophyll, because he says chlorophyll, more like borophyll. Number five, in what Pennsylvania village did George Washington's Continental Army camp? That was Valley Forge. Number five, Valley Forge. Number six, PRV in the Bible means proverb. Number seven, Arnold Schwarzenegger's memoir is a movie title called Total Recall. Total Recall. Number eight, according to Japanese legend, a sick person has to fold a thousand paper cranes. Number nine, in a traditional deck of cards, the king without a mustache is the king of hearts. And number 10, what 2001 video game movie featured the tagline, born in the wealth, groomed by the elite, trained for combat. That was Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, Angelina Jolie. Guys, well done, well done. There it was, a confidence round. How many points did you get? If you wrote them down and ranked them, you could have got up to 55 points like you would at my live trivia nights in Southern California, all of which you can see by going to TriviaWithBuds.com. Click around on the website, read some blogs, read some fun stuff, uh, statistics and things. I have some great team names on there for the month of October if you're looking for a new spooky team name. And we also do a team name of the day every day on the podcast. So listen for one of those in just a minute. But yeah, TriviaWithBuds.com has all my events, all the rounds for the week, all the sample questions, pictures, videos, lots of great stuff. Uh, question of the day brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. What is the name of the Warner sister on the cartoon Animaniacs? Tweet me your answer at RyanBuds or email RyanBuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was George Orwell for the author of 1984. And your trivia team name of today is Ghoul Intentions instead of Cruel Intentions. Ghoul Intentions. Funky Monkey Designs can be reached, fmdesignsinc.com. Click the, 
<laughs> clink, click the link in the show notes and it'll take you right to the website. And if you want to play trivia for real money, go to skillyworld.com, see what they got brewing over on this brand new daily trivia app. That's skillyworld.com. Thank you guys so much for listening to today's episode. Thanks for telling a friend about the show and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with buds. Cheers. Cheers.